guys and welcome to the twins take today we're going to draw the pokemon score bunny a rabbit like bunny and a fire type pokemon so um first we're going to start from the bottom of this pokemon this pokemon has nice tufts on his tufts of fur on his cheeks it is such a happy pokemon and is always spy smiling always hopping from um foot to foot like it's never not energized so let's start um, first we're going to draw its feet and we're going to draw a little um, curve, curve here outwards inwards and then we're going to just do the bottom of the foot right here. And now we're going to go up like this, smooth upward and then we're going to turn it this, let it stick. Okay now we're going to draw a really thin leg up here. to draw it has three three um three toes on one one foot so we're going to draw um, two curved lines right here so it has three toes so now we're going to curve that upward going into the next foot so this foot um we're going to do a one straight line downward and then we're going to do a curve right here at the bottom of the foot and then we're going to go upwards and and into the foot, so your foot is kind of like, like that, and then it's like inwards. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do right now. And then we're going to do um, three toes, like I said. Okay. Now we're going to make this go all the way down. And we're going to do a knee hopping up like this. As I said, he's always hopping, like he's never not energized. So that's how we're going to make him look. What fits up here, one foot is reached into the sky like he's in mid hop in this pose. Now we're going to go up here and we're going and um, we're going to do a curve, a straight, and then we're going to do a curve for his um, fingers and then up again. Okay, so like the feet, he has um, three fingers on each hand and we're going to draw that. So do the same um, thing on the other arm, on the other side of the body right here. Then we're going to do a curve right here, which um, is the other part of the body. And it looks like he's wearing a bow tie that quite doesn't fit, so it only goes away that way. It goes around that way and then stops right here. So what we're going to do, we're going to draw um, a little circle here, and then we're going to draw a oval and then we're going to draw a straight line right here and then we're going to do oval again. Okay. Now, so that's the next. So now we're going to draw his big head. So you're going to stop here where his um tufts tufts of hair come out. So you want one um tuft and then kind of behind that and kind of um kind of not totally behind it right there. So now what we're going to do going to make his head come up here starting from the middle of this and then just stop there. Now we're going to go down and create the other tufts on the other side. Okay so instead these tufts are a little smaller than the others. So they go just like that. Now what we're going to do we're going to draw the ears. So they're not like on each side of the head like that. They're really close together like um, a ponytail on here. So what we're gonna do there, we're going to do one up. And then we're gonna make it go down halfway. And then we're going to make one go up again. Kind of leaning and go halfway, okay. So we're not going to connect it because right here he has um, a little tuft of hair and then it goes back. Now we're going to draw the inside of the ears. So we're going to draw one um, smooth diamond right here and then we're going to draw the same right here. Okay, so instead of doing a straight line right here, we're going to, we're not gonna draw here and then we're going to do a line in the middle like that. So there we've got a score bunny. Now we're going to do a um, face. So he. He has kind of a rectangle thing right here, right over the nose, like he has a bandage. Like that. 
Now he has a really cute, small, little triangle nose, just like that. Okay, so it goes down like that, and then he has one large tooth and a huge mouth, like that. Then we're going to draw the tooth, a little diagonal line here, smooth bottom, and then a diagonal line up. Then we're going to draw a tongue right here, and then we're going to draw his eyes right here in the middle of the bandage, like this, on either side. Now we're going to draw some white highlights, uh, highlights up here, and we're not going to color them in yet. You can make his eyes a little bit bigger. So don't worry, we can fix that if you want them bigger than you. Okay, now we're going to start coloring. So the eyes, they have a small fire highlight um, down at the bottom like this. So you want to draw um, a piece of red. You want to do some red on here. And then under that red, you want to do some orange. So it gets lighter at the bottom. Like he has some nice, um, un um, harmless fire in his eyes. Now you're, now you're gonna want to um, draw in the black part of it, like that. Let's do the other side. Okay, now we're going to do the bandage. On, bandage. So right here, we're going to do the bandage on his head, his um, forehead. And then up here, he has, it looks like he has a bandage on his foot right here, and then that's the same color too. Now he has like a purple mouth. So what we're gonna do is we're going to grab purple, and we're going to draw like a nice little purple in there. And then we're going to draw a little bit gray on there. So we're going to draw that just over the purple. Okay, and now we're going to draw a pink tongue. So, um, these are the colors of Score Bunny. That's all you need, okay. That's all you need to draw him, okay. So now we're going to do some, some, um, some shading, shades. So, um, shim shading. So, um, it almost looks dirty. So you see this little um, line that went into the face? Start from there and do a small line under, under the chin all the way across. So his skin is white, so you don't have to color any of that. So now you'll want to do some right here where his legs begin. And then halfway down his leg, you want to stop and you don't want to do it any yet down here. Okay, so there's a special color on his feet that um, you really would like to know. So his feet have this weird kind of um, color on them that, um, so the tip of his feet is um, red, but because of the highlights and the shading, we're going to add multiple colors to the tip of his feet. So we're going to make a little curve right there and then we're going to make that curve end right here so the top is still enough to fit one more color. We're going to color that in. It's gonna stop right at the end of the toes. And then up here, if you were wondering, this is a nice um, yellow color thing. Now we're going to draw some red in here for, for the shading that we're gonna do. So, so it doesn't do anything over here, but it comes all the way over to this side. And instead of doing gray shading all the way down the foot, I'm gonna turn that red shading into a gray shading because the rest of the foot hair is, is um, white. So instead of just leaving this here so it has a highlight, we're going to make that a little bit darker from everything else with our um, orange because of Ashim shading. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing on this foot. 
but it's not going to have the dark red on it. Stop right at the end of the toes. We'll do it right here, a curve. Just enough room to fit some yellow on it. Okay, so we do our yellow. Okay, now I'm going to show you what its ears look like. They're almost just like feet. So what you want to do is you want to grab your orange, and what you want to do a right, or um, an orange racing stripe just right there. Just like that. Now do it on the other ear. Okay, now above that racing, below that racing stripe is just white, and above that is this color. So this um color 19. It's um this like orange. And we're going to draw it just above here, leaving a little circle right here. So we're gonna do that, and then there's gonna be a highlight, this little circle on the ear right there. Ha! Ah, he's looking so good. I'm hoping you have a really fun time enjoying it. Now we're going to do um, the same color we did for his racing check and color that little circle in with this orange. So that's the colors of his ears. If you want to make them a little darker, I figure I would. Now, below here, we're going to do some shading. First, we should do it some on the, um, the um, ears right here. So I think we're just gonna do a little hint of brown right here. And then we're gonna do all the other types gray. So we want to start it just where we did on the brown. And then keep, just keep going down. In case you're wondering, you're not going to have any um, any um, highlight on this part. I'm going to pop, pop out my shadows a little bit. Because I couldn't see them as well. And I'm going to do some shadows right here, below the arm. And now we're going to color him as his little bow tie right there. Since that that is um, shaded too, we're going to draw this one a little darker, and then, we're, and then on this one, it's a little lighter, so we're gonna leave just a little bit of that orange down at the very bottom um, there. Now we're going to draw the rest of the neck a little shaded. Okay, and there you have Score Bunny. This is a Pokemon who's always hopping on his own two feet, a fire Pokemon, and considered, no, I don't really know what Pokemon it's most called, but there's Score Bunny. Subscribe and like, and comment below if you, want me to, if you want me to draw any other things. Subscribe and like to the Twins Take, and bye! Hello.